She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that feeds her You'll find her beauty goes much deeper and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Musubiri Rama Lepe and if you're here for the first time let me welcome you and if you're a 10 subscriber let me welcome you as well so in today's video we're going to talk about PGCE which is the post graduate certificate in education and then the video is going to be divided into three parts the first part we are talking about everything that you need to know about PGCE and the second part fundings that are available for this PGCE and then the third part we are talking about the universities that which you can find this program from and let's get into the video so everything that you need to know about this qualification PGCE it's a qualification that allows you to register with SAIS which is the South African Council for Educators so that you can teach at any level and at any schools so at any level at any school I mean that there is primary PGCE there is secondary PGCE and there is adult education PGCE and then again the first thing is you need to have a degree or a diploma in any other qualification né? so if let's say today you have a degree ya yeah, bsc né? or you have um a degree ya yeah, it or ya yeah, engineering so with engineering you know that maths science and technical subjects must be your thing and then if you have your qualification in maybe public relations psychology social work you know that english life or orientation um, arts and culture are your subjects and then if maybe you have your qualification into um, BA you know that drama I could say the BA again as such but those you know those courses under under humanities faculty né? you know that drama um, you know all those dramatic subjects are your thing né? guys this is not a very bad thing because I am going to tell you the advance some of the advantages why you must look into doing this PGCE the first thing is South Africa has a very high unemployment rate and then um, blade was actually talking about um, he was actually talking about some qualifications that do not have misery job opportunities ne? so if you know of someone who has a degree or a diploma into any other qualification please refer them to this video so that they can come and check or what is that maybe their qualification yeah or they can be absorbed into this PGCE you know so in that way you know that you reduce our uh, unemployment rate and then the the second thing that we're going to talk about guys is maybe you want to be a lecturer you want to upgrade your your degree to a uh, an honors degree to a master's to a PhD because you want to be a doctor you know you want to be a lecturer but at the same time guys you know there are so many lectures that we know of we have that one lecture each of us at, at an school today they have that one lecture that they don't understand because mainly because those people babambanale only for masters but honors and then they don't have methods so when you do this PGC it means that you have your masters and and then you have your methods in that way it's a showcase that you're going to be able to deliver the context to your students or to your learners you know that's an advantage because then you can be the best lecturer in the world or in the faculty or in the university you know so it, it comes with an advantage and then another thing guys that we're gonna talk about is when you go ahead to check the universities please look for universities that actually share with you two methods because two methods you know that uh, you can teach multiple subjects you know you can be into the maths and science um, uh, streams and then as well if maybe there are additional subjects like your English you can actually teach those things so when you when you when you look at universities do look out for a university that, that offers two methods and not one but if you find that your favorite university offers one, you can as well do that it's it's not much of a problem and then another thing is this pgc allows you to do it one year you can do it one year and then you can also do it two years name it so the advantages of you doing it blended is you can be 
uh, you can be working at the same time while you are still studying so in that way it means that you will be registered with the provincial student teachers so in that way you will be a student teacher and then studying on the other hand so the advantages of for you doing it blended is as you teach isn't it that as you teach principals and teachers at that school they, they they actually look at you to say how good are you at whatever that you're delivering so you know that after completing your pgce already already people know that you can do that so in that way teachers can actually call you if if only an opportunity if only a space into the school they can just call you to say hey you we know we have seen you we have seen your work and we would really like to work with you and in that way you score yourself a permanent post or a temporary post as long as you are working at the time while you're looking for other things so you can actually imagine that this is a qualification that you'll be having a qualification in teaching at the same time you'll be having a qualification in whatever longer you 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 were doing that, that which you went to the university for so in that way if you don't have the passion for teaching you know that if there's a space there is an opportunity into it if you were doing it then you can just swap and dive into the ship of it and then you keep going as long as at that time while you're still seeking from seventy, you know that you're busy with something and who knows you might fall in love with it you know so um so that is it that i had for you because there's a lot that i can just talk around this but because we need to talk about important things now so please continue watching because now i'll be breaking down the fundings that which you can look into and i'll put the, 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 the their links or their websites into the description box so after this video you go and click into the links and then in that way it will take you straight to where you can apply and then you apply you know that come 2022 when you are a registered student with unisa or with uj or with the vets mencosa central university of technology ukzn and the list goes on so i'll put the after after the the funding the funding slide i will put on the universities uh that which you can find this pgc program from and then yeah guys that is what i had for you and i think i'll see you into the next one so the first buzzer that we're looking into is the funza lushaka buzzer scheme and then it will be opening on the 1st of October to close in February, which is the first um, the first phase of it opening. So do look out for the first phase of it opening. And now let's talk about some of the requirements. So for some of the requirements, it says that you must be accepted or provisionally accepted in any university, which is a public university, and then be willing to teach only senior and FET phases that is from your grade uh, 7 to your grade 12 and then you must be under the age of 30 be able to actually be willing to relocate because with Funza one thing again is they place you it's that kind of a buzzer that places you to any school that is in need of that particular subject that you will be offering and then as well you must apply for it online and then the second funding that we have is Jake's Havel Fellowship Basri. So I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it closes on the 19th of July 2021. So you can still go ahead and apply. Like I said, I'll put on the link in the description box. And let's see what is it that it requires from you guys. And then some of the requirements of this Basri is you must be willing to teach only at high school, which is your FET and a bit of senior phase. So um, you must be under the age of 30. And then the universities to apply to is VETS, it's UJ, UP and UCT. So this is like... Um, it is like a scholarship that specializes only on the mentioned universities. So you must be careful when you apply for it. You know that those are the universities that you want to go to.
so um the last bezu that we're going to talk about is isasa so this isasa closes today which is unfortunate but obviously i think that they must be able to take late applications do check with them if they can take your late application and isn't it that as well next year they will open so you know that next year you apply on time but also i think it's very important and it's not gonna hurt if you submit your late application who knows they might consider you so let's jump into some of the requirements for this isasa bursary so some of the requirements for this bursary is you must be qualifying to teach your maths and science only on the senior and fet phase so bsc students this is for you or graduates this is for you and then you must be under the age of 30 and then you must be willing to go to the university of south africa which is unisa so what that means is you will be doing it online or blended and then you must have an acceptance letter from the university obviously which is maybe you can be provisionally accepted or just an acceptance letter so that is all that i had for you about the bursaries and let me as well repeat myself that please look out for the university that offers you to do two methods not one but if you want to go to university that does one it's still okay but the advantage of you doing two methods is you'll be able to have a variety of subjects that you can choose from and yeah guys thank you so much for watching if you know of someone who is into uncertainty maybe they just graduated but they are unemployed you can just refer them to this video so that they can come check some important information and i'll see you into the next one say bye girl